This is a the first part from two videos where I'm going to talk about simple interest and compound interest and I'm going to do a bit of um, past paper questions. So this is more IGCSE level, but it tackles the basics of simple interest and compound interest. Um, so the idea of simple interest is that you always start with um, an initial amount. So this is your initial amount, or let's keep on using consistent notation, we're gonna call it the present value. So you always start with the present value and then you keep on stacking up the same amount every year. So if I'm investing money in a bank or something, they're gonna charge me an interest or if I'm investing, they're gonna give me an interest. And they're gonna say, well, if you're investing um, a certain amount, we're gonna give you an investment, this is very generous, but we're gonna give you an investment of 10% um, from your initial amount. And however years you're gonna um, put this investment in, we're gonna keep on adding this original 10% that we calculated on top. So it's gonna be just that 10% stacking up. So I'm going to use the same diagram for compound interest, but it's going to look slightly different. Um, so the idea is that we usually give a formula to the students, which is what's given to the IGCSE, is that it's um, interest P R N, where I stands for the interest, the P stands for the present value, so what you start with, uh, the R is the rate, but it's in decimal. So, and the N is your years. And we're gonna stick with years in at this level. Um, later on, things do advance to how often per year, but right now we're only doing it once a year. So we are sticking to um, N being years. Um, so this is a bit of a weird formula because we will change it up a bit and it's not our basic formula that we're gonna use. But the idea is that this tells you how much this value is only. It doesn't tell you how much the total amount is. It's going to tell you how much this adds up to. Um, so actually, you know, this, it tells you what this adds up to. Um, so just it gives you the interest. It doesn't give you the total value in the end. And that's the most important distinction you need to know in simple interest. Um, so sometimes they'll tell you that the interest value is that much, which means they're giving you this. They're only giving you this stack. And they might tell you that the total investment in the end is such and such, which means they're talking about the whole thing, not about the interest value. So you need to be aware of these two distinctive um, things. So basically, once you've found your interest, you now can go, well, now my total is the present value that I started with plus the interest that I've calculated added on top, which is what we have here. Um, so if we start with a simple example, just on top of my head, um, say I have um, an investment of $500 and at a rate of 3.6% for five years. And notice how my R or the rate that I'm talking about is not in a decimal, it's in a percentage, which is why I'm not really happy with this notation that they use usually. Um, so just be careful with this. Um, here's how you would do it. So first you could think of, well, the interest is going to be me calculating the first amount, which is um, this, this amount here. So how much am I stacking up the value of each of these boxes? And by the way, I'm going into so much detail, so you can skip through this if you want to. Um, so I can just think about how much the initial value is, which is you're gonna take 3.6% of the 500, which is how you calculate percentages normally. So 3.6 of 3.6, which is the percent out of 100 times 500, which is why we say that rate is in decimal because this will turn out to be um, your decimal value or more precisely divide by 100. 
Um, so this is you finding one year, but because I want it for five years, I want to know how much the stacking up is. I'm going to multiply by five, which is what this whole thing means. So in total, my interest, my interest is going to be uh, 3 over 6 over 100 times 5, so I'm going to get 90. So 90 is not my total investment. Um, it's just how much I'm adding up to my amount. So my total is now the value I started with plus on top the interest I have. So making this distinction clear is important because sometimes questions will tell you if I reworded the question, for example, and I said um, the, um, the total is 590, initial is 5,500. Um, so if I ask you what is the rate? Um, well, to know the rate, I first need to know how much. Well, for simple interest, you need to use the interest formula. So if I know that the total is 590 and the initial investment was 500, it means that the, invest that the interest... Um, that the interest were, was... Um, 590 minus 500, so that's 90. Well, I know from the formula that the interest is 90, sorry, that the interest is the present value times the rate, which I don't know, times the years. So assuming we know that it's for five years, and then you're going to start substituting values. We know that the interest is 90 and so on. Um, so our rate is out of 100. Divided by 100, sorry. Um, you start moving things around and you will get just a 90 divided by 500. And then again divide by 5. So we get 0 0.036 equals to R over 100. Cross multiply, you're going to get R is equal to 3.6, which is what we are supposed to get based on the example I gave. So moving things around is important. Sometimes they might ask you to find the year. Sometimes they might ask you for the rate. But it's important to just understand the difference between the interest formula and the total value. What the question is giving you, what is it asking? So make sure of the keywords. So, um, and questions are very clear about which rate to use. So in this example, this is a past paper question. Um, this is one part of a past paper question, three marks in here. So Boris invests 550 at a rate of 2% per year simple interest. Calculate the amounts Boris has after 10 years. Sometimes they say per annum. So just be aware of this. They might write PA. Um, so they're already telling you it's simple interest, be careful about this because students do get confused with compound interest. So we want the amount, meaning they want the total in the end. They don't want the investment. Sorry, they don't want the interest. They want the total amount in the end. Um, so just write all your values down. Your present value is 550. Your rate is 2%. You can write to over 100. Your years are 10. And you can now find your interest first. And that is 550 times the rate over 100 times 10. And that will be 10, sorry, $110. Um, so this is how much interest is stacking up. If you remember the diagram, we are starting with 550 and we are stacking on top 110. So in total, we have... So the total amount is now the present value plus the interest, which is 550 plus 110, which is $660. That's it. Um, so just be aware of these distinctions. Um, the other video I'm going to talk about will be on compound interest, which is slightly um, different. If you need more advanced compound interest, there's another video on um, that as well.